Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to add and subtract square roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. One thing to note is that we can only add two square roots directly if the number inside the square root is the same, the, uh, the radicand. So, let's keep that in mind, and we have to use some of our rules to manipulate the expression to or the radical to make it look the way we want so that we can add and subtract them. So let's just go with an example for addition. Let's say I was given 5 times the square root of 12 plus 2 square root of 3. Well right now we can clearly see that the numbers inside the square root are not the same, 12 and 3. But I can maybe manipulate 12, we can simplify that. We know that's, well, 5 times the square root of 4 times 3, plus 2 square root of 3. And we can take the square root of each one individually. 5 square root of 4 times the square root of 3, plus 2 square root of 3. So now I see my square root of 3's here, but we still have that square root of 4. Well, luckily for us, square root of 4 is 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 10 here, square root of 3, plus 2 square root of 3. At this point, we have the square root of 3 in both parts here, and so now we can add these radicals, okay? And in doing so, I almost treat square root of 3 like it's just a variable, and we add the numbers out in front. It's not the right, it's not exactly the right terms for it, but it helps us visualize that. So the square root of 3 just stays here, and we add the 10 and the 2, and that becomes a good old 12. And so our answer here is just 12 times the square root of 3. So now let's deal with subtraction. Okay, and we have a harder problem here. We have 20 times the square root of 72 a to the third power, b to the fourth power, c, minus 14 square root of a to 8, a to the third power, b to the fourth times c. Let me zoom in here so I can read it better. <clears throat> so what? I, how am I going to break this apart? Well, I'm going to try to um, see if there's a way we can rewrite each one of these sides to have the same radical, radicand. Okay, and in doing so, what I'm going to try to do is simplify, I always try to simplify each one individually as much as possible at first, and then go from there. Okay, so let's just deal with the first term here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do some simplification, simplification, and then we'll bring it all together at the end. Well, this 20, well, 20 here just kind of stays on the outside. But what about the inside? The inside well, 72, that is 9 times 4 times 2, right? 9 times 4 times 2 there. And so we can rewrite that to be square root of 9 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Remember from our rules from earlier. Then, a to the third, right? Well, it's 3 a's, but a squared, we know we can take a square root of. So it's a square root of a times square root of a squared. I'm trying to break things down to terms that we can easily take the square root of. b to the fourth, luckily for us, is easy to take a square root. But if it makes it easier, you can take the square root of b squared squared. Right, the same thing, b to the fourth. And then lastly, we have c, just square root of c here by itself. How can we break this down even more? Well. What do we have? Well, the 20 here, well, square root of 9, so we have 20 here, and the square root of 9 is 3, multiplication, don't forget it, and square root of 4 is 2. And now we're left with also square root of 2, and then square root of a can't be simplified. But luckily for us, square root of a squared is just a, and square root of b squared squared is just b squared, and we have square root of c left over. If we re rearrange this, oh, one thing I forgot. Good thing to know, I almost forgot. Square root of a squared. 
That number, since it's a square that's going on here, okay, that number could be negative or positive. So what we do, we want to make sure it's always going to be positive because it's the kind of double square that's happening. And then we have the square root. We're going to say a must be the absolute value of a there. We don't want to get caught putting a negative in there. Okay, so let's multiply it out. 20 times 3 times 2 is 120. And then let's put the absolute value of a up front. And then b squared. So the multiplication going on here. And I've gotten all of these here. I've gotten that. I brought that over. And now everything inside the square roots can be as one term. That's 2ac. And just crossing off each part to show or make sure that we brought everything down. And now we have it kind of in simplest form here. 120 times the absolute value of a times b squared times the square root of 2ac. So this last part here, let's see if we can maybe separate this here. So I'm going to do this last part here. Let's break it down how we can, just like we did before. 14 comes out. And 8 is square root, uh, or 8 is 2 times 4. So that's the square root of 2 times the square root of 4. Now same thing with a to the third. We have square root of a times square root of a squared. Okay, I'm almost running out of room here. Same thing with b to the fourth, like we did earlier. That's the square root of b squared squared. And lastly, square root of c. And I think I'm just in. So then from here, let's see if we can simplify some of our square roots what we can. We have 14. Let's bring that down. Uh, can't really do anything with square root of 2. I'm going to cross our values as we go through them, so show that we've used them. Uh, square root of 4 is 2, right? Use that. Can't do anything with square root of a. a squared, square root of that. Okay, don't forget our absolute value here, but it's just absolute value of a. Got that. b squared, square is just b squared, or square root of all that is just b squared. Now notice I didn't have to put absolute value here, because whatever number b is, when it's squared, it's going to be a positive number, so it doesn't really affect us here. And now we're left with everything the square roots. We have square root of 2, got that. Square root of a, got that. And then square root of c, and this is a. Okay, not a 9. Got that. Let's combine our like terms, and 14 times 2 is 28. Absolute value of a is still here. And then we have our b squared comes down. Fantastic. And we put all this as one square root. Square root of 2ac. Now, luckily for us, both values here share the same radical, or radicand, same thing, square root of 2ac. If it wasn't, if it was close, we might have to manipulate back, but I like to do stuff like this to break it down to see where we can go, and then sometimes it lines up, sometimes it doesn't, but you have to maybe rearrange some stuff, maybe move things back into a square root to make it work. So let me erase some of this and perfectly actually fit in my minus sign, and we can continue the problem. Okay, so I did each part separately as like a little separate little note, like this. Each part was simplified individually, but now we can solve it or simplify it, right? So now we have the same radical, so now we can combine them together to be really subtract across under one big radical. So I'm going to put the radical first, the square root of 2ac. We got that. Okay, now we subtract our like terms in a sense. 120 minus 28 is 92. Got that here, boom. And then absolute value of a minus uh, absolute value of a. Well, really those are just variables, right? Aren't they the same? We have a variable here, right? It was really actually 120 minus 28. That's like the coefficient, and this whole thing is basically like a variable. So actually, we just bring everything down. We kind of combine it. So we have absolute value of a times b squared times the square root. We combine it all together of 2ac, and there's our answer. 92 absolute value of a times b squared times the square root of 2ac. And there we go. So if this video, video helped you, please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video and um, comment. This helps us make more videos so you can keep learning. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. 